Well, we should just point out that Pinscher is just German for terrier. Yes. So they're just German terriers, really. Virtually. Yes. And about the same size as your average terrier or whatever. Pretty so. much so, yeah. Do they, do they speak? No. <laughs> Hinsetzen. <laughs> mm. She's trying. That means sit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously they don't, don't speak the mother tongue. No, w w after not the big here. One, after the big one, were there any of these left in Germany? I mean, they bombed the heck out um, of the place. Well, yes, there were, obviously. So we've got them here today. Um, but they were dwindled down to very, very few dogs back in Germany. They almost became extinct. And Actually, the good as thing then, as a byproduct of that, the good thing happened. They were forced to outcross them a bit and probably yes. add a few good genes. Yes, even recently in Finland, they've actually um, outcrossing them back to the Schnauzer to increase the gene pool again. Oh, this boy is quite big, isn't he? This it? is Phoenix, yeah. Okay. Now, he looks, he's got that placid look about him, am I wrong? Oh, he's very lovable. He, um, big sort. Yeah, he's a big sort. Big sort. So they vary a bit, and presumably if you're picking one and you want a softer dog, you look for that in the litter or whatever. Yeah, you look for the dogs. Dogs are a little more lovable and they tend really? to... Really? Yeah, they tend to they, find... Yeah, bitches tend to have their own agenda. You know, feed me now, pet oh, me now. That's and... true. And you know, <laughs> leave me alone. That's interesting. So if you're if you're after more the couch potato end, you yeah, go for a male. Go for a male. So yeah. yours is a girl. Yes, this is Peachy. That's Phoenix's sister. What's her temperament like? Oh, beautiful. She's basically all action and affection, and either that or she's basically switched off asleep in the corner. So she's on or off. <laughs> if there's anyone anywhere near the house, you know it. They just start barking and, and certainly in this colour they do look a bit like a miniature version of the Doberman. Yeah, they do. But they're very, very easy to keep clean with the short coat. You just rub them down with a wet cloth. Well, Caroline, your little boy is, uh, shows a fantastic attitude. Yeah, yeah, he generally uh, really loves to work and run around and get wet and do all that sort of thing, yeah. So, but he's very focused and very much wants to please. Um, love food, um, easy to train but quick to become bored. So everything has to be done very short, sweet and with lots of rewards. Basically the German pincer is a sound little dog. They do get some patel luxation, that's where the kneecap goes in and out of the joint. So if you buy a puppy, get it to your vet straight away and get him to have a feel, make sure they're okay there. The other thing of course is temperament, they can be skittish but not if you socialise them from a very young age. Give them lots of positive experiences and you'll have a great family companion. Trish, well, now speaking in your official capacity as a younger person, what do you think of this breed of dog? Um, well, I think they're, um, they're pretty good for kids because they're gentle and they're, um, they're a pretty loving dog. And they just, well, you can cuddle them, most of them, any time you want. And good fun for playing and all that sort of stuff? Oh, yeah, especially when you play chasey with them. Me and my brothers, we're on the trampoline, we play chasey with them. You get hit by a dog and you're out. They seem to be a very well-meaning dog. Yeah. A bit like you, just everyone's your friend. Yeah. <laughs> very popular. <laughs>